Believer Inn has something for everybody. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's so many museums here. In fact, right now we're at the Chisholm Trail Outdoor Museum. Yeah, this place is great. It's like walking back into the 1850s. <laughs> I mean, it's so much fun. There's all yeah. these amazing exhibits here. There's the 1850 schoolhouse. Yeah. There's the original Johnson County Courthouse is oh, really? here. And we also have the Big Bear Native American Museum. Oh my goodness. Now also, Cleburne is a historic railroad town. Yes. And you got to make sure you go to the Railroad Museum. Okay. 500 exhibits that celebrate our rich railroad history. There's a model train room with oh. multiple model trains running and all these activities for the whole family. So much oh fun. Oh my goodness. I am so excited to get the hit the ground running. Oh, wait a minute. Make sure. <laughs> make there's sure, more. Wait, wait, <laughs> more. Make sure you go to the Cleburne State Park. Okay. 528 acres, 116 acre lake. Okay. Spring fed. So it's oh. great for swimming, fishing, right. boating. Just a great, great time at the Cleburne State Park. It's so good to see you, Aaron. Good Thank you, you for showing us the way. I think we need to get started. All right, okay. do it. <laughs> we'll see you. 99 years old and still wearing his badge. Gotta love him, Bill. Thank you. What's a game day experience like here at the depot? We have high energy in the fans. We've got a great fan base here. Yeah. Our ushers are called funchers, and after they get everybody seated, they'll come down and get the crowd uh, energized. Oh, wow. We've got two mascots, Spike and Gandy. And one of, the, one of the great things is like between the end of the game and the fireworks, the kids go down, they run the bases, players stay around the dugout, so kids get to get their autographs, you know, photo ops. Everything we do is really geared around the fans. Yeah, you really have thought of it all, where yeah. the parents and the kids can really enjoy themselves and let loose and just, Absolutely. you know, take in ball game. Yeah. That's awesome. And I'd love to have you throw out the first pitch tonight. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and you're now an official railroader, so we'd love you to wear this when you throw out the first Pitch. I would love so that. number one for number one. Thank you so much. Well, now I got to get practicing. <laughs> no go. pressure. We are so excited to be out here for a railroaders game, and um, I actually was just told that I'll be throwing out the first pitch tonight. Last so, minute, huh? <laughs> uh huh. So, like, any advice? technique tips like all I'll tell you is don't <laughs> overthink it okay. and just focus on where you're throwing Got don't it. overthink the mechanics just see the glove and try and hit the glove you know what? if you overthink all this stuff then you're going to be in trouble okay just a little toss oh my god that's okay okay you just finished too low just aim higher okay You know what you're doing. That's ah. easy. That's easy. You'll be good. I'm psyching myself out. Nah, don't overthink it. That's what I'm saying. Don't overthink it. Just Thank you. trust it. You're welcome. Yellow Texas will be right back. So we have a, a little over 11 miles of hiking trails. You can okay. hike, bike, um, you can swim uh, here at our beach area. We offer camping. We have 58 campsites, okay. uh, three limited use cabins, and three screen shelters. Just how big is Cleburne State Park? It's 528 acres with a 116 acre lake, and the lake fluctuates a little bit depending on the, the rainfall. Yeah. We have a lot of people come out and kayak. Um, it's a great kayaking lake. It's very calm. It's calm like this almost all the time. Really? Okay. We don't allow motorized boats, so it's a no-wake lake, so idle speeds only. Gotcha. Um, you can't be tearing up the lake out there. <laughs> Beautiful day! 
gotta love Cleburne State Park. Come on in, make yourself at home. I'm Erin. Erin, how are you? I'm Todd Kaufman, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what all do you serve? Okay, Jacob Weldon is the whiskey that we have here in house, I mean, the one we make, okay? okay? Now this whiskey is made with a rye whiskey and a corn whiskey blend. Okay. We'll put a little blending sherry in there, which will kind of give it a little different nuance to the whiskey. Ah. So I'm gonna give you that first. Okay. And, and this is it here, okay? Okay. Everybody gets a little different. Wow, that's so smooth. I'm okay. So, I'm, truth be told, I'm a little scared yeah. of whiskey. You're waiting for the big, hard right. hit. When this is so smooth. It's kind of creamy. Like it's just so smooth. Well, that's a lot of people either get like a little butterscotchish or like a mapleish or vanillaish. So the, the blending sherry is just it's different every batch. I mean, it'll it'll change it a little bit. It's got a sweetness to yeah. it, and it's not too like potent that it hits you in the yeah. throat. Exactly. <laughs> Now this right. chocolate has uh, Jacob Wellen in it. Chocolate? Yes. Okay. This is Ears a... perked up. <laughs> yeah. So you gonna grab one there? Oh, okay. Awesome. Now when you eat this, put the whole piece in your mouth, okay? Okay. Because there's a whiskey in it, I don't want it to get on your blouse. Yeah. It's the fact that there's chocolate in this, I'm so excited. Oh. This tasting? Yeah. Whiskey. Mm -hmm. Stupid. There you go. Stupid good. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That literally just like oozed and melted in my mouth. The chocolate's delicious, by the way. The whiskey? Yeah. It's a dark chocolate, so I think it complements the, the whiskey good with it. Yeah, if you want to sit down over there or something, make yourself at home at another table, I can make you a, a margarita pizza. I would love that. How about that? Yeah, that's great. Here's a perfect way to end our trip. No sharing. 